You ready? We ready? I'm ready. Come on. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. X Men will gospel. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. You're listening to the real gospel with the X Men. Turn it up loud. You about to get a blessing. We got them tunes that'll make you dance like David. Rocking in your car, in your house, in the workplace. X Men bringing you the real, not the fake. Strike a chord in your soul as these sounds resonate. And plug your ears, cause you don't wanna miss the X Men real gospel. Bringing you the real. Welcome back to Real Gospel. My name is the X Man. Listen, this is new music from God's chosen. Never forget it. This is Real Gospel. Praise the dead from the grave You're the son of man King of all kings and mighty to save The one who guided all the sons of Israel Yes, you're my God and no, I won't forget it No, 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 no You brought me Lord, you brought me from a mighty long way I never shall forget it All the things you've done the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories and um, I'm so honored to have these three young ladies uh, who are part of this dynamic group and I, I have one one complaint about your name and you know what I'm about to say don't you <laughs> no <laughs> I, <is> <laughs> I am God's chosen yes you 
you are, sir. You are. You are. You are. <laughs> hey. I agree with that. We agree. Yeah. Welcome to Real Gospel. It's God's Chosen, and you ladies are just, um, you're tearing up the charts. Uh, your music is spreading around the world. Woo-hoo! And yeah. And so I've been following your careers now for uh, for quite a few years now. You all probably don't realize that, but but I have been. Um, this is what the, is this the sophomore project, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. And one of you have a Nashville connection. First of all, uh, all you all introduce yourselves and tell uh, the listeners who you are, and then we'll move into the uh, the, the uh, I call it getting nosy about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my name is Sarah. I'm Sabrina, and I'm Keisha. All right, all right. Now, which one of you? Them. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all <laughs> guys chosen. Which one of y'all have the the um the Nashville connection? Is it Sabrina? It is Sabrina. That's me. Yeah. I graduated from Fisk University, and um, let me see. Do I want to tell the people the year? That's all oh, right. Oh, I, you graduated, have to. I graduated from Fisk University. <laughs> <laughs> what year? Come on. So yeah, I was just recently in Nashville for a visit. My sisters uh, still live there, so um, yeah. Well, I walked around the campus a little bit. What year did you what graduate? Going on. What year did I graduate? Yeah, come on. I graduated in 2007. I was here in 2007. Yeah, I remember you. Oh, you do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. I'm pretty sure you don't remember me. I mean, I didn't really do anything special at that time, but yeah. Okay. And your I sisters, you. are, are your, your sisters, are they... It, one of them works at um, Anderson. They both attend Cathedral of Praise. Yes, they do. Yeah, my church. <laughs> yeah, they work. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I didn't know that till just now. I honestly didn't notice that till just now when wow. I saw your. I put. I see your last name, and I, I'm like Anderson. You know, okay, because one of them just got married to our uh, our um, uh, one of our ministers of music. He plays the keyboard. I can't. Th- uh, uh, what's his mm-hmm. first name? Brian. Brian. Brian and, and, and the yes. other one works R&D. at. And they both work at Tennessee State <laughs> University correct? They do. Okay. That is correct. All right. Well. So this is the getting nosy section already. Yeah, huh? that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, that's my family. Okay. So okay. yeah, I was just there recently visiting them a couple, well, like last week, really. Okay. Okay. Well, excellent. I'm glad. Uh, let's get, give them a shout out real quick. Go ahead. Shout out to my, my sisters, Kiki and Lena, and my brother, Brian. In Nashville. All right, there it is. Mm-hmm. There it is. See? We love y'all. Okay. Love ya. All right. <laughs> now let's let's share the love a little bit to the other two members. Tell us a little bit about who where you're from. All of y'all from St. Louis, correct? Yes. Okay. From St. Louis. The, the Lou, Ferguson. as we call it. What, what, Ferguson, oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, we all. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's that's interesting. Uh-huh. So, so we all went to high school together. We went to school in Ferguson. High school in Ferguson, and um. We graduated, and that's where we started our group was in our gospel choir. Mm. So, yeah, we've been friends for a while. Well, you know, Ferguson, let me let me ask you this. How did you young ladies, because I, I looked at, you know, I researched you, did a little research on your bio. So you all went to high school together. How did you all come together later to discover that you all had a purpose as God's chosen? You know, oftentimes um, we we tell people that it was God's doing because, as you just noted, Sabrina was in Tennessee um, after graduating from high school. Of course, we all went to college. Sabrina went to Tennessee. I, I'm Sarah. I went to Atlanta for at Spelman College, and Keisha went to Chicago um, to attend Columbia College. And so during that time, we sang uh, when we came back for Thanksgiving break and Christmas break and summer break. And it really was God ordained because things just started to fall into place. We had um, a guy that wanted to invest in us and um, finance our first album, which is called Love Ever After. And mm-hmm. one of the songs on there, the Love Medley, really kind of caught like wildfire and people really loved it and was ministering or two through that medley and then um, after a couple of years after that the second album was produced at the end of 2013 so we have survived by the grace of God and it sounds super spiritual but that's the only way to explain it because we all led different lives but that our friendship first and then the music itself the ministry of God's chosen kept us together 
Amen. And then we didn't even, like, in high school, we discovered this later on, but um, basically all of us had prayed for um, spiritual friends, had prayed for saved friends. Because I know myself, I was friends with some people that I knew I shouldn't have been friends with that were doing mm-hmm. things that I knew that I shouldn't have been doing with them. And it, it got to a point to where I was in high school. I'm like, I want to, this is not who I am. This is not who I want to be. So I actually prayed for um, godly friends. And then to come to find out, we all did. And God brought us yeah. together. So, I mean, it's just one of those testimonies like, you know, you can't you can't find lifelong friends. Especially, it's okay to pray for friends. It's okay. You don't Yeah, know. it is. So, yeah. Amen. Definitely well, God's doing. Well, talk about that for a second. Saved friends, because you all represent a, a section of the youth that really need to hear your all's testimony, because especially on college campuses, there's some of everything mm-hmm. going on. So talk about mm-hmm. praying for saved friends and, and what that means and how that can impact your life. You know what? I think that... Um, You know, the the Bible says iron sharpens iron. And it's one of those things that if you're around people, you know, you hear your parents say, birds with feather flock together. And you're like, yeah, 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 mom. You know, I I can hang out with whom I want to hang out with and still be my own person. But over time, you will be influenced or you will influence someone else. And so it's kind of risky. It's like a 50-50 chance for you to hang around people that are not God-fearing and do not, you know, uh, worship and praise God in the same way that you do, they're going to at some point have an influence on you and water down your witness, desensitize you, to, um, so to speak. And so I think that we realized that in high school, like, in, and I give the glory to God that we, at that point, we were mature enough to know that if we find friends that will support us and keep us accountable, mm-hmm. then the chances of us doing the right thing will will, will greaten, will, will be much greater. Um, so, yeah, so as far as college is concerned, even more so because you have more freedom and you're kind of encouraged to kind of like experiment and do things you know drugs and sex and parties and there's just everything is right at your fingertips and so to have a group of people that hold you accountable that's praying for you that you can confide in and of course be honest with but also that will tell you when you're wrong and tell you that that, you know you you should be responding and behaving better that's gonna that that could potentially make or break you Um, so yeah thanks thanks to God, we got the message, but we try to tell people as much as we can who has not received it yet. Yeah, amen, amen. You know, I'm really loving the song um, that you all just released, and um, I just it, never forget. T- elaborate on that just a second and, and speak to us on what it means and, 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 and what it means to you all. Well, um, yeah, Never Forget It is the song that um, it comes from a place of just, you know, wanting to let let the Lord know that, Lord, we, we, we remember all of the things that you've done, not just the things that you're doing for us today, but um, even going back to the Old Testament and in the Bible days, uh, what God did for the, the children of Israel, um, how he delivered, you know, Paul and Silas. And, you know, how he was delivering people back in that time. This is the same God that we serve today. And so um, the song simply says, I won't forget, you know, what you've done. I won't forget that you are this same God. And so it makes it easy to, to give him praise, makes it easy to to worship him because he's done all of these great things. He's still the same great God. He's Alpha and Omega. He was there in the beginning. He's here now. He's going to be here in the end. He is the, I mean, he is the, the beginning and the end. So um, we have to remember what God has done for us in order for us to continue to, you know, to look to him for our, our strength and look to him for everything that we need because we know that he has, in times before, has proven himself over and over again um, to, to his people to be a God who can do anything. You all are independent artists. Talk about the the joys and the strengths of being an independent artist today. Man, I mean... I know, right? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, it's it's a joy. I mean, because, I mean, with this project, we literally did, like Sarah was saying, 
we had an investor um, on our first project, but this second project, we literally did everything ourselves. We wrote the songs, we um, got funded, we get, got our own funding ourselves, um, we packaged it ourselves. I mean, it was just all, it was like our baby, and it was just a blessing to see it come forth. And um, that's one of the main things. This is we're proud and we're happy to see the manifestation that God promised us because we have been. Our, our first album came out in 2006, mm-hmm. and yep. it would have been a while. <laughs> and we, you know, we got discouraged sometimes. Sometimes we did get discouraged. We had things coming at, at us, but we knew what God said. We knew what we had to do, and God just made ways for us to um, produce this project ourselves. So. Yeah. We're happy about it. Yeah, yeah, you should and be. Yeah. To, piggy, to piggyback off that, now when we sell the album, we get to keep the, the funds. And so that's why we tell people to go to iTunes and, yeah. and go to gcpmusic.com um, to order the uh, you know the, the actual CD because we now get the profit. Whereas right. if you're signed to a label, you kind of right. do not split your profit. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. <laughs> you know, um, so you, you all uh, are from Ferguson, Missouri. What was it like at the time when Ferguson was really on the map? I mean, when people were really just zeroing in on um, the tragedy that happened there and um, the spotlight, the entire nation, the entire world was looking at your city. What was it like? Um, I'll, I'll chime in a little bit, um, but uh, this is LaBrenna speaking, and I was out of the country at the time. Uh, I was actually in South America in Chile. Um, uh, I was there teaching English at the time, and the crazy thing about it is, like, every day I'm going to school and going to work, uh, with my students, and even with the family that I was staying with, uh, people were asking me, like, oh, my God, you know, what's going on in your city? You know, uh, you know what, 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 is, what is this all about? And they didn't really understand uh, what was going on. I had to hear about it through the news just like they were, but, of course, I'm able to understand more being... Um, being a resident of Ferguson, indeed, and I told them, they're like, well, how close is that to, to, to your house? I'm like, I actually live in Ferguson. And they're like, what? You know, what's going on? And it was really crazy for me. It was kind of overwhelming, and I didn't really know how to, um, I couldn't really uh, express myself um, there because I was, you know, kind of among um, people that didn't really understand what was uh, completely going on. And so it was it was very difficult for me even being away. And I know uh, just talking to my mom and my family here and checking on them, I know it was a trying time. And I would uh, the other two answer as well because they, they were here. Yeah, um, for me, it was actually right before I got married. I believe it happened uh, in August of last year and I got married in September and so I was like really trying to focus on moving and and my wedding and so many other things going on Um, but I think that the issue for me was like what can I do like I feel like I should do something I feel like I should say something like you know Facebook status is not enough you know I I need to be out there with the people and I actually never went out there to march or anything I was able to do a a, a protest in Chicago which was really cool but when I was at home it was literally I mean less than I don't know a a couple of miles away from my house Um, but I wasn't able to really get in there because sometimes when you're around all of that um rest even your good intent and you know can be mixed misconstrued and you don't want to be out there in the middle of fire you know mm-hmm. so for me it was just like Sarah do something God chosen what can we do but you know the Lord is going to work out and I still think that there's work to be done in the city and so I'm still looking for him to answer what I could do to really contribute Amen. yeah the same thing for me Keisha I mean really all I could do was pray I mean, I was yeah. very down. I was very um, sad about everything that was going on. Because, I, I mean, you look on TV and you see people that you know. And very yeah. just <laughs> angry. It's just yeah. kind of like, well, what do you do? Well, you got to pray. I mean, that's pretty much all I could do for my yes. Being minutes away from where, you know, the police were with the tanks. And it's just like we were really in a war zone. So, I mean, yeah. just for your own safety, it was really best that you stayed in the house. And right. just kind of just go before God about the situation. And we're still going before God with the situation. Because yeah. you know, like, there's still things going on. Yeah. So. That's true. Amen. Amen. Ladies. All around the world. <laughs> Not just All the first thing, but everywhere. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 17 Great Cuts. Let's dance. <laughs> you reign. Never forget it. Whatever it takes. Yet I will. Mm-hmm. Come in. Mm-hmm. He's there. 
free. Come on now. <laughs> Redeemed. <laughs> Even now, he is and mm-hmm. letting go. Ladies, mm. um, much continued success to you. Don't stop writing music. Don't stop producing music. God is, um, I'm going to tell you something, God's chosen. You are chosen by God. Amen. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah, uh, we receive it. I, I'm going to pray for you all because I just feel the anointing of the Lord moving right now. Father God, thank we you. thank you for these thank three you. young ladies, these three <sighs> dynamic young ladies who have come together to just continue to spread your word, Heavenly Father. They they love serving you. They love being in your presence. They love being in your midst. Yes, they love God. spreading your gospel around the world, Heavenly Father. And so, Father God, for this, continue to strengthen them. For this, O oh Lord, continue to allow them to reach heights unseen, Heavenly Father. Lord, continue to support their ministry financially, Heavenly Father. Allow finances to just overflow and overtake them right now in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. That they should want for nothing. That their children should want for nothing. That their families should want for nothing. That their transportation is blessed. That their education is blessed. That their spirit being is blessed. That whatever they do is blessed. Oh yes, thank you, Lord, right now. In Jesus' you, name, we pray this prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. much. You are so very welcome. I just felt moved in the spirit to just uh, pray over you all because I just feel the anointing right now. And so I'm just being obedient. And so where can the listeners find out more about you and your CD project? They can find us online. Our website is gc3music. Dot com. All of it spelled the right way, gc3music.com. And also can find us on every social platform, that's Facebook, that's Twitter, that's Instagram. Our username is gc3music. Um, also, booking. We would love to come to Tennessee. We would love yes, to come to where you are. <laughs> Book us. And our number is 314-995-2677. Call us and we'll be Call there. Amen. And go on iTunes and get our album, one in six. Amen. Yes, please go yes. on there. Amen. <laughs> this, this gospel program is heard all over the world, so don't be surprised when you get invitations to new places Amen. and new heights. Amen. Yes, yes, yes sir. Right. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you for being a part of Real Gospel, ladies. All righty.